Hi, I'm going to do another video. This is half an hour, by the way, after I did that video just yet. But, listen, I snapped my arm on my bone come out of my arm when I was younger, when I was like a semi-pro basketball, and I did it dunking the ball, right? It was raining outside. I was playing an outdoor night basketball tournament, yeah? And basically, I dunked the ball and I hung off the ring. And if anybody knows who's dunked the ball, yeah, it sends your momentum forward. My momentum went forward and my hand slipped off the ring. I fell backwards and my head was going to hit the floor. So I put my hand down to stop it and my bones just come clean out my fucking left arm, yeah? So I haven't obviously dunked since I was, what, 15, yeah? Right, 14, 15, 14. Yeah, I think 14, 14 when, well, I think I was 14 when I did this, yeah, so 14. But I want to see if I can touch the ring. I'm 40 now. I ain't jumped like this for years, right? But I'm going to show you, lot like, how to keep practicing to get more spring and jump in your step. Because when I was younger, I couldn't always dunk. I had to work a year on it, work on my legs for a year and everything to get them to jump that high. So this is how you do it. First, start with the bottom of the net. Now, I should be able to just jump from here and touch that. Bottom of the net, yeah? Now we want to go up about two up to that nut there, yeah, which I've just done off the floor. Now the backboard, right? I want to touch the backboard. Let's see if I do that off the floor or do I need a run up? Right, just about. Right, so backboard, so you see where the, the neck comes down in the V and then gets into the tight, uh, the tight diamonds? You see the knot at the bottom of the V? Let's see if I can touch that. I'm gonna have to run up for this one. Bab, you're gonna have to tell me if I touch it, because I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to see. Of course, sir, I'm doing this. Yes, I got above it. Right, <laughs> now I'm telling you now, I have not done this for fucking years, right? I am gonna try and touch that ring. Let's see if I can get that ring. Now bear in mind, it's my right hand, isn't it? Where my finger's shorter. So if my finger was longer, I'd probably get an extra half an inch, but let's see if I can touch that ring. Let's see how many attempts. I'll try. I will try. Come on. Come on, old days. Ah! Nope. Let's try again. Nope. Let's try again. You'll be able to see on camera how close I'm getting. Well, you can tell me in comments. So I actually don't know how close I'm getting here. I know I ain't touched it yet. No chance with that one. That was a shit run up. Obviously, it's all right being able to do this without a ball. But then you have to practice for months doing it with a ball. And it's harder with a ball. I don't think I'm gonna to touch it today. Let's try let's try two more times. Hey! <laughs> one more. Let's try one more. Come on! No! You know, so on YouTube, I just have not got as much spring in these as I did when I was 14. But it's to be expected. But I'm going to work on it. I want to touch the ring. So I think it's going to take about, it took me when I was younger, about two months before I could touch the ring. About three months before I could grab it and hang on it. I'm older now. Um, so four months. Let's say four months, and I should be able to hang on the ring, yeah? I'll keep doing this every time I come now, for probably 10 minutes uh, every time at the end, when my legs are tired as well, because obviously then, all the work that I've done through playing basketball, this is just gonna tear, tear, tire my legs out even more, which in the rebuilding process, will make them bigger and stronger. Um, so yeah, well I've sweated, look at this. I've sweated this top up good for that guy. I don't know if you all noticed, but I get out of breath and then I'm just ready to go again. Duracell Danny, baby. Duracell Danny. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the videos, yeah? Bit of a mad one, this. Peace out.